How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Gintama episode 242. We're in the host club arc. Everybody's a host. Everybody's doing a great job. Got to entertain this this rich, fancy-ass madam lady and see how that goes. Disastrously. Possibly. We'll, we'll see. Either total disaster or, you know, surprising somehow, like, exceed all expectations. Incredible. There's no room for a middle ground, really. So let's get into it. In three, two, one, play. We have our new OP, which I enjoyed. It's good to keep hearing that now. I'm surprised it came in so soon, so I don't know how long it'll be around, but it's a fun one. There's a just away alarm clock. There's some strawberry milk, some Dragon Ball Gintama parody manga. It's all right there at the beginning. You got the bad food, you got Jugem, you got Sachan's obsession. All of it. There's more Justaways. Great shit. <laughs> As usual, you can check out the Patreon, of course, if you want to see these videos early. And you can check out my other channel where all my other reactions are. Watch those. That's all linked down in the description, so you should check that stuff out. Thank you so much. I guess... This might be happening soon, because normally the, uh, the OP changes every 25-ish episodes. But maybe they wanted the OP to feature the white Shinsengumi, because that's going to be a big deal. So they changed it before that arc happens, which means that arc is going to happen in the 240s. Which makes me wonder, why didn't you just make this the OP the whole time? The other one didn't really... It featured the girls for the Scandal arc, but that wasn't, like, a big serious thing. So I don't know. I don't know how long this OP will stick around. Maybe only, like, ten episodes. But I like it. Girls like Vegeta, guys like Piccolo. Okay, if you say so. He's being destroyed. He's being killed entirely. He's trying, and no, I think that's just, ah, I'm being killed over here, and I can't stop spasming. Right. <laughs> so you're leaving. After everything, oh, hey! Why is she so red? What the fuck? You're already drunk. I wasn't sure if she was drunk or if that was just... Anger? But yeah, she's already drunk. Yep, no, you can't leave. Everybody's gonna show up and they're all gonna wreck this place. You get drunk before you go out to go drink, obviously. What? Yeah, she's she's into it. Nope, you're not going to get away with it. Nobody's going to let you leave. You're going to keep running into more and more... Oh, hi. You this time. My God. Where the hell did you even... 
Oh, okay, those are the Yagi retainers. Sure, why not? Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Why must you do that? Why must you be here like this? No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't get to, you don't get to do all that. You just, that all does sound really bad, and that's all you guys, apparently. You fucking freaks. No. No. They would be perfect together if, you know, if she just wasn't obsessed with Gin. If she was willing to give somebody else a shot. What? His what? The source of what? Why? What? <laughs> like, uh... Drinking a shot out of a belly button? You were putting, just putting, you know, the food all over, uh, over the person, but it doesn't work with them. I think he's dead. I think he's just done. Hopefully she enjoys the, uh, the liveliness and how excited everybody is. Hopefully she has fun. Damn. He's trying to blend in. Okay, so most are leaving. There's not going to be as much chaos, but she's already here. We do still have some troublesome people here. Light, Yagami. That's me. She looks hard to please with that face. I don't know why, but she looks like a Black Clover character. That's what I feel in my heart. Which means I don't care for her. He's literally dead. She's hanging from the ceiling. At least she has a nice straw. Just make sure she doesn't see any of that. Whoa! Well, okay, can't avoid it. Never mind. Do they have to bring you everywhere? What the hell? God damn. Okay. Angry customers, serve me first. How obnoxious. No. <laughs> I 
I think Sachan's having a really fun night. <laughs> nice. She's never had an experience like this before, and that has to count for something. It's like the Shogun all over again with all the things they're going to do to this woman. I don't know how her reaction is going to be compared to how he handles things, though. Oh, no! Well, that's too far. <laughs> Are, is she fine with this? She doesn't seem to be having much of a reaction at all. She just vomited on her face. I guess she's a real professional. It has it? Right, right, right. Dragon Ball, that's, that's what it's all about. He didn't even know who was who. Do you like Vegeta? Nobody's favorite character is Tien. God. What? I know in... I know in Dragon Ball there was he was like the the king of the world or whatever and he was a dog. Is that who they're talking about? Who the fuck is Poro? Are these real people in Dragon what anyway? Just trying to talk about Vegeta, Piccolo, like normal characters. You ruin and can't even talk about Dragon Ball with you all. What Who the fuck is Kandiru? What? They're, they've lost all sense of reality. They're too drunk. Women love to talk about Dragon Ball. Oh. Okay, those are real. Those are real characters. I don't know about Pororoka, though. Who said Vegeta? Was that uh, the madam? Because she chimed in right at the end. She likes Vegeta. She likes the bad boy who changes his ways. I mean, that's Piccolo too, but there was like a whole egg situation. He was not the same Piccolo, but he still was bad, but he wasn't as bad. But it was a whole thing. I guess so. Okay. Maybe so.
I guess. He got pretty pissed when Trunks got hurt once, I think. Piccolo is a good dad to Gohan. Yeah, but Piccolo can stretch his arms. Imagine what he could do. The Widow's Peak is pretty extreme. <laughs> that was his? That was his one wardrobe choice? I like to think so. He had one chance to pick a piece of clothing for himself, and he's like, yeah, that one says bad man. Yeah, that's me. Oh, God, did he do a Vegeta hair? Oh. How did you even warp your head to go up that high? <laughs> oh, no, that's disgusting. Yamcha, Yamcha just doesn't matter. Let's not even bring him up. This is just all about Dragon Ball now. What is Pororoka? What? I guess. I guess she is. She's very uh, subdued. Doesn't talk much. Don't know what she's going on about, really. But I guess she's into it. I guess she's... Having fun, she's part of it, somehow. This Dragon Ball nonsense. Kyoshiro's dead this whole time. Now you're here. Oh, tequila. That's how you do it, I guess. You're right. I guess that's what it takes to be the best host. You have to be terrible. You don't care about what you do to them. That's ter That's horrifying. Didn't work. They went out immediately. These guys can handle anything. Nope. I guess the women can just handle their drink way better. Oh, that's it? You're gonna go? You don't want to talk about Dragon Ball? You did? Okay, that's good. I'm glad you had fun somehow. You didn't show it on your face. Oh. No, she, she likes him. You guys just made a dumbass assumption that you were just totally wrong about. I was pretty sure that's where it would go. So none of it's really true at all? It was all bullshit. Oh, damn. She's just lonely. What a strange life.
He was a true host with capital letters. Didn't just bow down to her. Well, that's cool. At least it worked out. Didn't really matter at all, because she, you know, wasn't who they thought. But, I guess we did it. He's dead. Yo guys okay? Invite her back in. Party all night. Oh, here he is. How'd you get outside? When'd you leave? She can be anybody she wants. Just go drink even more somehow. You're spilling. I guess they're all back. He went to go get all the hosts. Now you can have a real experience. Okay, that worked out nicely. I think I like that one more than the last one. I, I guess I liked the Dragon Ball talk. And just all the weird shit they were doing. It was an okay arc. Ending was pretty simple. Pretty easy to see that coming in general. It was okay. Prince Hata, haven't seen him in a good little bit. The just away. There's Eromes. Shinpachi's old girlfriend that he punched in the face. The firefighter lady. All these old people. There's the girl who could only who could never stop moving or she would die. She was fun. Love to see her again, but it's never gonna happen. There's Jackie Chan! The turtle guy and uh, Otohime or whatever. Shinpachi's other girlfriend. Never showed up again. There's like black and Toki or whatever. Takatin and Takachin. So many. Oh my god, it's just everybody. It's just all of them. There's the cat. The Shinpachi's other girlfriend, the little bug that he kissed. Yeah, the 7 3 guy. There's the ring GPS girl. This is like a fucking Fujiko Mine. And there's new people, and there's that one guy, and Toki's old teacher. That's like every character has ever been there. Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, apparently something about a... Some meta thing next time about Shonen Jump. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.